Happy Monday. That's right, Monday is the best day of the week here at the Pioneer Village. Earmuffs. Time for the earmuffs. Yes, yes, time for the earmuffs. Get those earmuffs. Your earmuffs aren't in. You ain't going to hear me. I sure as hell am not going to be able to hear you. Nobody is going to hear Mandy. Oh, Mandy, you're the first on the show, and we love it. We appreciate it. People are your second. You know what they say. If you're not first, you're last. Ha, ha, ha. All right, here we go. Time to check in Sunday's pigeons. We had internet delays, internet problems, but the internet gods have been fixed. Do they work good? Shit, we're not going to know until we try it. So let's get started. First one up from Sunday. And again, guys, Jason, yes. Take that. Look at that. Again, for people who don't like swearing, Nick Scar is not going to be your friend. Mandy, what does this mean? Tell Nick to put it in the comments there if he can. Good afternoon. We are checking some of the birds in now. We're going to do checking some today, some later on tonight, because we're going to do the late night show. We are going to see how they sleep. With Peevler. See, Peev, you think that my bald spot bothers me, Peev? But I looked at your photo, Mr. I looked. I looked. Take a look. Nothing but sex, baby. Nothing but sex. Good looking. Take a look at this. It's fantastic. Look. Gorgeous. Remember, bald, receding, even gray. I still make this shit look good. There's our woman. Look at what she's done. Check out the results. Anna Gocha. Anna, you got to get some birds down here at Pioneer Village. We should ask Wally Bielek. No, but guys, these, these Pioneer hats are awesome. Hey, Robbie Taylor, what's up? Let's start it off. Who is the first one up for battle? Carlos Dextera. Yes, you guys know him. You guys have heard about him. You won our race the first year at the 325 miles, Carlos. Here we go. Let's see how these do. Nice and young. Ready for battle. But... You know it. There you go, Peeves. You know it. <laughs> I'm trying to get the camera here adjusted a little bit better. Let's see. I think that'll work. <clears throat> Let's try out our photography. Let's see if we still got our skills. Birds banded the right way. 790 is the first one up. Oh, 790. I don't know why, but whenever I hold the feather like this, I get the shakes. He likes to look right at the camera. There's the first one up from Carlos Textera. Guys, when these birds go up for the sprint series, don't be afraid. Jason Mahay, like how's it going, my friend? Little bit of vaccination. What are we hitting them with the rota? We're going to hit them with the quick YD. Oh, let's yellow drop some up. Two in the mouth, coats the system nice. Bird looks good, which is great. There's our first one of the afternoon if we are sharing it we're not enjoying it having some fun Eve I'm only playing with you brother I'm only playing all right there's the first one up for Carlos Textira that one's on my team here's the next one up auction donation bird from Carlos Textira when you guys see the birds in the loft with the orange and, and the orange marker band. Nick, what did Nick say? Nick said, Nick is a huge hockey fan. G for the go, OHL, Pickering Panthers, coached by Rob Pearson. And we know who Rob Pearson is. If you're a Canadian, you know who Rob Pearson is. When I put these stupid marker rings on. Hold on. Put the... That's between them. Wow. 
I know it's a family show. I can't believe it. Some people get mad if we curse. This world, nobody's allowed to curse anymore. Anyways, next one up. This is an auction donation bird. Yes, guys, I know the parentage on this one. This is going to be a hot commodity pigeon, I think. Seven seventy nine. Maybe he doesn't stand. Oh, he's standing good now. Oh, easy pops. You just have to be easy, eh? Man, he's got long legs like a giraffe, doesn't he? Club for Doma. There we go. He took a good one there. There that big man is. He's the seven footer from Lithuania. Who we got here? Nick Scar. Well, I'm going to come up with what it means. There's Mike Green. Mike Green's getting those birds sent out. We got the felines rolling in the background. So you see birds in the loft that have this double color. So this will either be blue and orange or uh, red and orange. You know, it's an auction. Auction bird. Again, tune in tonight for Pioneer Live with LMR and myself. Spin by Leah. Peter Riley, what is going on? There we have another one done. Carlos Textera, got your second one in. Dropping draw looking good on all the birds. The, Carlos has got an interesting, a chocolate, a checker yellow, a yellow checker. The next one up, 794. Peter, where are you watching from? Here we go. Stay there. You look real handsome. Beautiful. Very handsome photo. Thank you, my friend. Voila. Again, guys, the anecdote chair. UK. Peter, we got to get you in, my friend. You're from the UK. If we get, we've got flyers from the US, Canada, Australia. Okay. We need one for the UK. Then that'll be four countries in our race. What does the vax covering? Rota, man. Good for the young bird sickness. It's the best one. A little slippery here. These shorts are feeling slippery. I freshly washed them. And again, you see vaccination. Little YD. Yellow drop. In the mouth. Another one bites the dust. Perfect. Perfection in motion here at the Pioneer Village. Again, today, guys, I had people here all day with the internet farting around with it and playing around with it. So I couldn't do shows. Same with yesterday. It just wasn't working, and I wasn't going to put out a superior crappy product. Next one up for Carlos. Hey, we love Carlos. Here's the next one up. This is, this is a real Bobby Dazzler. I told you, a real Bobby Dazzler, but we're going to have to get his feet just easy pops. Easy. Are you good? No. Look at that, eh? I told you you need to take a nice picture, and you did. Just like that. You'll start to see by the end of this week, the photos starting to be posted up. Again, Leah likes me to get a few hundred ahead. John, what's going on? Where are you watching from, John? John Wilson. Are you going to see? Hit him again with the Rota. You guys are going to see them in about 10 days or so. I'll get hit with the PNV. We finished off another bottle of Rota. These things love to drink the Rota. Two drops of the yellow drops. Let's reach into my magic pocket. Ryan, not net better now. Uh, we don't know. We're going to wait. We got to wait till we get outside. But we're hoping that the net is better now. We're hoping. Hoping is key. All right. So those are my four from Carlos Dixtera. And then 
Uh, let's open this up. I got a sore thumbnail. Oh, well. There we go. Clean the needle again. You know, last year I was putting the needle into a glass of alcohol, like a shot of vodka, and clean it, right? Sterilize it, 100 proof vodka. But the problem with that was I was dulling the needle. Silly me. Move on to the next one for Carlos. An absolute beautiful checker white flight. This guy is a stunner. I got to thank Carlos. I got to thank everybody who's put the time in to put the birds in to keep their word for participation. That is key, guys. Remember, never say you're going into something if you don't tend on going. That's all I ask. 788 from Carlos. You're good. You're good. I know. You had to take that, eh? Well, you were waiting to do that all day. You ha had to do that. That's okay. I got you anyways. Sometimes they take them, eh? Guys, this show works best when you communicate with the birds. So if you have to ask some questions of these pigeons, let me know. I will ask them. Yellow drop. There you see it. Boom, boom. I'm going to be putting Ricky's into his loft. Ricky went to the grocery store. He's getting some sugar, some groceries. There's another one done. That's what we like. <sighs> Who is next up here on Team Carlos Textera? This is the 791. That's the top version, top view. And like I said, let's go with the napkin here today. Let's do it. Seven. Seven ninety one. Beautiful. Another one done. Michael Peevler, how? Many can came in the white, came in with white toenails. You know what? Well, you're going to have to go through all the pictures, man. You're going to have to go through the pictures and look. I haven't looked. Again, I think white toenails are for breeding. I'm not interested in breeding any of these. I got to see how they do the damage. Again, white toenails are the best when they're blues and checkers with no white or a solid red, or a solid mealy, okay? On pies, they're more common, so. Just saying. Next one up. Here we go. Last one from Mr. Textera. This is the, Emma Armstrong's in the house. How's it going, Emma? All the way from the UK. Again, if we can get our first UK participant in, if you're looking to put birds in this race, and obviously you can't get birds here, let me know and I will put you in touch with super flyers that I think. Remember, I can only recommend, 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 recommend them, recommend, recommend, recommend. That would be a lot, a uh, lot to count. Yeah, I'm not counting white toenails. Again, guys, take it for what it's worth. Here we go. I don't know what color we call this, but Carlos every year breeds these things. Did it take a good picture? Let's see. Yeah, 
I did. Got a good enough one in. I got one in. We're okay. I don't know what color we color we call that, but it's like a dun or something. Small little hen. We know one thing. We're gonna know it's Carlos's. 0 0.2 vaccination. Little YD. Two drops of the YD. Anyways, be a question for the family show after they all get in. Yes, we're gonna have to get old uh, Vanderyak on there, right? Okay, so vaccination is done. Next one up. Oh boy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh -huh. Who are we going with next? Next up, we are going to go with your friends, my friends, Ricky Fife, last year's super champion. Hold on, guys. You know what? I'll move the camera this way so you see what I'm up to. Let's see. Can you guys see? Here I am. I'm over here. We're going to move these guys over. We're going to do the Rick Fife birds. From Niagara, Rick's going to double team it. Last year, Ricky walked up with about 9K. Some asked, how did he do it? Well, he put the teams in to do it. That's the first thing. And he had the pigeon that did it, which was Pfizer. What a beast of a machine that was. Too bad Rick sold Pfizer. I would say in the wider world of breeding, that was one not to sell. But, hey, everybody does their own thing. And uh, what can we say? What can I say? It is what it is. Next up, we're going to start with his donation auction bird from Ricky Fife. Remember, guys, questions, comments, and complaints. Oh, the silver took a squirt in the corner. Right on. Right on. Here we go. First one up for Ricky Fife. Let's get the... Uh, this is a chocolate as well. I don't know if this is a Sonia Vandermeulen or what this one is. Let's see. Holy shit. Settle down. Again, I always love it when pigeons get, get squirrely. You know what we're going to do? You're having a mental problem. So let's fix your little red wagon. Sometimes, guys, you got little problems. And you got to tweak them. Give them a tweak. Here we go. He's a little fired up here. He's not a, he's not a photo box kind of pish. Pish. Oh, yeah, we got a chocolate here, folks. Easy. Easy. You got to have to come back around, Pops. Here you go. If you settle down, you're going to feel good. Eh? Yeah, up on the thing. Just go back a little bit. Come on, Pops. Oh, you're difficult, eh? When they're difficult, I always say, when they're difficult, take a breath. You took a nice picture. You're not coming out of the box. Don't worry. This guy's got sensitive feet. His feet are very sensitive, this page. There you go. You took a good one. Took you a few minutes. You kind of dragged that show on there. Seen any 11 flighters? No, only when Ado sends them, there'll be 11. No, you know what? I don't, I don't look at that. And the problem is my counting. I'm bad at counting. I'm not shitting you. I'm not good at counting. Let's get the orange ring on him again. So you know he's an auction pigeon. He's going to be in LMR's loft. And we're, we're, we're switching the charity auction birds. So if somebody puts in two charity auction birds, they are going to, they are going to go 
one in Ricky's, one in mine. Let's grab the next one up for old LMR. Who doesn't love LMR? All right, another one from LMR. Why do these all have red bands? Another one for Loft Manager Richard. Hey, Troy, I'm going to do yours next, so make sure that these are yours. Ryan with his counting, yeah. I'm dyslexic. I got HDR and some say I'm slightly slow. I'm not going to really disagree with that. I'm a horrible reader. Counting is not my strong spot. I'm going bald, thanks to Peeve. And, uh, yeah, what else can I say? Next one up. 19892, another chocolate from Ricardo Fife. Up on the perch, please. No flying at me. Let's just, we're just going to keep it calm, right? You're a good looking pigeon. And I think Troy's got the oldest birds here, Troy and Mo. Mo. Troy, I'm kind of wondering, and I got a question for you, because you guys always have questions for me. Troy, why would you bring those old birds a week later? Just asking. Just, just an ask, just a question. Normally, birds, when they're that old, you send them right at the start. But an extra week. I guess, Troy, were they still getting fed by the parents? <laughs> Come on, Troy. Oh, hit that one beautifully. Again, the rotavirus, we're using it. I think we're the only race in Canada that's using it. We're not using the chicken vaccine. <laughs> Did I miss my internet shit out? Shit out. What's the shit out? Oh, yeah. They have a hoop on a ball. No matter what age, they will, what does it say? They will have to hop on the ball, no matter what age. All right. Good questions. You, you see, Troy has an answer. We're not sure what that means. I guess they got to get on the ball. And that's what I say, guys. When they go up over the trees, that's when we know if they got the ship between their ears. The kind lost. Birds are on his way. Oops, hold on. This one's one of mine. I got to get one of Ricky's. Oh, Ricky. Here we go. Last one for Ricky. We got another chocolate pie up coming up next. You and Rick and Leah run a great show. Oh, this one's got lots of Fred on it, but it's okay. It's a small one. Even if you have, even if you have L, it's H-D-R-D, H-D-R-H. H D R D. I don't know what L R D is, but H D R D. It's a guys, you know what? Whatever you think I have, you can blame me. I probably have it. Sometimes I stutter. Again, I'm the type of guy that'll laugh at a funeral. This is just the kind of guy I am. Okay. No, see how. Do, how is it I know when I get on certain pigeons, I just start to have a feeling if they're going to take a good picture. See, you're, this pigeon here is just giving me that feeling of like, we ain't going to take a good one, but he squared up. And that was the end of it. Bing, bang, boom. Even if, oh, I already read that. <laughs> let's, let's juice it up. Again, I know my buddy Nick Scar likes when I curse. Nick, I, uh, I am a curser. I like to swear every once in a while. I'm going to keep my cursing this season down to an all-time low, okay? I had some complaints that my one curse per show is a little sensitive to some. And again, and I'm only talking to my buddy Nick, okay? Reason is, is Nick compared me to like one of my favorites of all, Don Cherry. Now that's a compliment. That's a compliment. 
That's a compliment. All right, moving on to the next one. Ricardo Fife. Let's do, should we do his donation bird? No, this is the Sonia Vandermalen. Here we go. Chocolate on chocolate equals chocolate. The chocolat, here we go. Oh, it's a chocolate pie. He took a chocolate to a chocolate, and he got darker chocolate. Cavender Loft is watching. Remember, Thursday's our day, brother. Let's check out this chocolate. Oh, good numbers. Triple ones. This shit ain't first. It'll be last. Well, he took a sexy little picture, though, didn't it? You just turn your little head there. Oh, yeah, he got it in there. He got it in. Oh, let's. Uh, you want to try it one more time? Come on. Now you jammed your foot up. Come on. Oh, yeah. How do you like them apples? Eeyaw, eeyaw. Let's make sure we're square here in the camera zone. Ooh. We're a little off. Let's keep the camera square. Getting excited. Can't got to keep the, the excitement down. That's when that HDRD kicks in. Remember, guys, I rode the special small bus for quite a while. Some would say today I would still be on that little bus. I kind of think I would. I would. Again, so far, I think we're over 100 and something birds. Everyone has made it onto the big screen. Oops. Double YD. Trailer fundraiser page. That's what I can see. Moving on to the next one. Let's do it. This is a nice pigeon. The 095 from Ricardo Fife. My actual name is Rick Fife, but I just think Ricardo was like, have you guys ever noticed the name Rick, Ricky? Like, it kind of rhymes with everything. And just like that, I put the band on this one, Labacula Words. Very performance looking pigeon. From Ricardo Fife. Can he one runs the Niagara Peninsula one lap race? Again, hopefully you guys liked Ricky's bath yesterday. His youngsters absolutely loved it. And that's what it's really all about. It's going swimming. Who doesn't love to swim? So we did do the 95. Remember that? Next, chocolate up. This is the 1-1. One, one, no, shut it in case the bird flies out. There's our man, Alfred Combe Van Zorn. One of the best of the Netherlands, guys. I am amazed how many people don't ask this man questions, but we are going to have him on. I am thinking next Wednesday, Alfred, if you want, are you good next Wednesday evening? Oh, ding dong. Come on, pops. Come on. Now you got to get back up on the perch. Oh, Hudfordoma. There you go. Stand there. Head up. Beautiful. And you took a shit right on the camera. Again, shit. Is shit a bad word? I don't know. He dropped one. That's what we should say. I need to bleep that out. No problem. So, Alfred, not this Wednesday, guys. Next Wednesday. Oh, this Wednesday, we are kicking in with a 
super flyer from Belgium. You guys love them. I love them. Great going to meet them. The one and the only Serge Van Alsecker. So he will be on Wednesday at 12 o'clock. We will be on time. I will be heading to the United States Wednesday. I will be going after that show. And then the following week, we are going to have Alfred from Combe Van Zorn. And then we are going to have another super United Kingdom breeder. Hell, I don't know. Inch by 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 inch we go. And mile by mile we go. And as we go, we go. There you go. I hit him with the YD, right? Let's make sure. I don't know if I did. One and out, guys. You can't over wide DM. Just one drop is good. So there's another one done. And our last one, we're doing the 108 from Ricardo Fife again. Ricardo, last year's average speed champion bird winner, Pfizer, Super Hen. Again, down from the stable and sons, bloodlines. The best of the best. You got it, huge. Here we go. Next one's up. Mow the cheese, man. How are you? Guys, if you're looking for cheese, Moe is your number one source, and you are in the province of southern Ontario. He does ship nationwide, but shipping is getting a little expensive for your cheese. I got felines. Just move your foot, please. Uh, she's doing the doing the pose with the leg there. Come on. Oh, now we gotta fix your band. Now we gotta fix your face. There you go, you took a nice picture. Oh, and Mo brought his son yesterday. I'm gonna tell you guys, the Mo Mo's family's gotta all be damn good looking because they all got this killer hairdos. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm not into men, but I'm telling you, and they all smell good. I mean, I smell like, I smell like, the, I smell like a, a wet dog, you know? You know what a wet dog smells like? You're like, oh my God, the dog was out in the rain. You know that greasy smell? Yeah, that's me. But not Mo. I know when Mo's at our place, right when I hear a car, I hear the door open. It's like, it smells like an air freshener, but like the ultimate one. Okay, next one up is going to be... The Legend of Troy Boy. Now, Troy is going for a world record. He's going for the oldest birds in the loft. I think Troy, this is what his goal was. I think these guys are going to be a little tricky to photo. They're going to be like more photographing older pigeons instead of younger ones. What can I do? Let's do it. Let's adjust. Troy, this one is yours, I, I think. The YRI 1306. 1306. Oh, this one's going to be a firecracker. So what are we going to do when you're a firecracker? And this box now is up a bit high. Younger pigeons, they can be higher. I like to be a little lower with these older pigeons, but hey. When in Rome, do like the Romans. Let's put them in there. Come on, Pops. Oh, yeah. He's firing on all cylinders, that one. I told you. Yeah, that's mine. Okay. All right. And Troy, I'm going to make sure this one's yours too. Both both cockbirds for sure. The, uh, the 1305, that's yours as well. Correct? 1305. We got to juice it up.
You hear the little felines there. They're eating. They're having a good time. That's for Grant. Oh, that one's for Grant. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got one of the grizzles, right? Okay, well, we're not going to do that one then. What's your second one, Troy? Oh, your second one's the blue bar. Oh, wait a minute. There's one for Tracy. No, is there two for Tracy? There's supposed to be five. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth? Oh, five, okay. There's two for Grant. Troy, did you put 1305 and yes, the grizzle? Thir okay, thank you. Okay, give me the next one for Grant too. So I'll do Grant's at the end. 13 and 1335, let's see it. 1331. Okay, here's 13.35. Yeah, I did hit it. Good. We're going with the grizzle, 13.35. Okay, which two are Grant's? Because we'll do Grant's next. I got to thank Grant from Australia giving us the love. There you go, 1335. Next up is Grant. Grant is the blue bar and the checker. Okay, perfect. And I know the last one is Tracy. And we'll finish with Tracy here today. Inch by inch we go. <clears throat> Let's do it, Pops. Perfect. Nice birds, Troy. I got to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for helping out Grant. Guys, it's nice to say thank you, eh? Someone, you let someone in on the road, say thank you. Someone gives you the middle finger, say thank you. It's okay. They're having a bad day. If someone gives you the middle finger and is yelling at you through the car window, say thanks. It's okay. I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. There you go, Troy. Great job. Super, super, and more super. Next one up is our main man, Grant. Grant from the United Australia. No, oh, go Troy. See United Australia. You guys never heard of that one until today. So here he goes. I don't know the names of these two, but Grant, when you get on, I want to thank you for supporting us. Yes, Feathers Elite will make it to the land of Australia. Again, sometimes you just got to put another shrimp on the barbie, as they say. Oh, I know, eh? You're feeling okay. What does this mean when you're feeling like this? It means you're just a little nervous, eh? You're a little old. I know. You see, guys, and this is what old pigeons do when you let them out of your loft. You see the difference between an old pigeon and a young pigeon. Young pigeon is like, what's going on? And an old pigeon's like, wake me up before you go go. And this is how they go off the roof and sayonara. This is what I like to show people. Guys, you got to be calm here. You took a couple good ones. Easy, bud. Nice, strong cockbird this is. He's super buoyant. I got to put some weight on him, Troy, so he doesn't fly away. <laughs> Woo! He's a strong one. That's okay. As we go, now we're going to get the grizzle. And then we're going to end with our girl, Latrace. Oh, no, not the grizzle, the blue. The blue is next up for Grant. You have a question or you have a comment, put them in the, in, in the spot below. That's all I can say on that one. Uh, those two go there. Those aren't the right two. 
There we go. And Grant, next one up. Troy sent some real nice pigeons, nice and strong. Mo, when will you be seeing these pictures? Uh, Leah's just finishing another project, and then she's going to start uploading them. So, guys, patience is key, but you will see them. And obviously, she will go from the start of the file, however the file looks. And there's well over 100 photos. Again, when I go to the U.S., I'll be doing the same thing as well. Easy. Just hop up on the stick, Pops. There you go. Look how good you did. You took it. You took a good one. You're okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna fight you because I don't want you to make my box dirty. Uh Mike Sheridan was his name the uh, Mike Sheridan once we named the teams Heather Green Lightning and what is this? Next up is Tracy. So you've seen Grant. You've seen Grant. Now we move to Tracy. Tracy's got three entries today. So go, Tracy, go. Let me put this one in here. This is a mine. Mine, mine, mine. First one up for Tracy. I think this is a flying bitch. It's a white one. I've never seen so many white bitches in all my life. Is bitch a bad word? Let's talk about it. It's also known as a female dog. Sometimes it's known as my sister. And um, we love her. She came up with the flying bitches in the uh, year of 2000, three years ago. And here we go. Tracy, this one is for you. Go, bitches, go. LaTroy, la boy. This is the 1331. We're going to call her, holy shit, that's a white bitch. Or bitchy long stockings, or... I knew you were going to do that because you just wouldn't let me turn your ring because why would you? You take a nice pose. I was my fault. It wasn't the bird's fault. It was the photographer's fault. Every time I start photography, I'll put on Nickelback. Look at this photograph. That's a song I use. Like some people have different. Fuck, I did it again. I didn't swear. I said fudge. Put your foot up. Don't look at the ceiling. There you go. Oh, yeah. We're going to look at the ceiling. She don't like her face touched. She's pretty snipey looking. If this doesn't have Dave closing in it, I don't know what does. There she is, Rita. Still got time to become a bitch. It's not hard. All you do is put a bird in and you're a bitch. Put two birds in, double whammy, and hell. Next year, we're going to have the bastard category. The flying bastards. That's a name. Carlos Dixera, yours have been put through. We had to wait for the internet gods to allow us to do this. Guys, what do you think of the internet right now? I'm already a bitch. Well, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You can't be a bitch until you're in the Pioneer Village. That's where the true bitches are found. And if Leah was here, I'd say, Leah... Back to you. Okay, now we're going to get to Tracy's final two entrants. She likes some mealies. What can I say? Who doesn't love a good mealy? I know I love a good mealy. Nice looking mealies. Here we go. First one up, Trace. The shit of pillars are coming. The only thing is these birds were shipped on hay. I never ship birds on hay. Master breeders. 
two two zero zero eight guys no shavings no hay straw put them on straw put them on some granules put them on pine needles that's all i can say here we go you'll see the feet on this pigeon because it's in the hay because it was in the in the hay, the feet will be green because it was sweating. It's going to have a greenish tinge to the feet. Well, you'll see it on the bottoms. Maybe I'll show you that. I know. This one's going in my loft. Come on, pop, 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 pop. There you go. I will show you what I mean by green feet. You don't see any green feet, but maybe this is like a witch's thing. Let's see. And I cleaned them up, but. There's a greenish tinge to them. I think the other one has it more. The master versus the grasshopper. All right. That's always another great name. Here's the other one. You'll see just a bit of green. A little green tinge. But I. Tracy, you don't have to worry because me and Owen LMR, we're on the case. These things will be in the deep end. Don Meredith, what's up, Don? We got you an entry. Don't you worry, Don. Wasn't it Don? No, wait. Don, did you want the entry? No, Don, you sent the team. I don't know. I can't remember. This is the 22010. It's on LMR's team. It's molten heavy in the head. And that's that in the world of pioneer bitches. Let's hit them with the little the little of vaccination. Okay, we're going to go out to the main loft. We hit it. All right. Okay. Beautiful. There you go, Tracy. You are in it. Now, I got to grab some of the super doifs here give me a minute you're coming with me oh all of you guys are coming with me i'll put mine out first my section is getting fuller by the moment we will do mine then we will do good old lmrs Their names are Pike Tyson and Mr. Truman, Troutman, easy, easy, dun 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 let's keep going, one more to go, we're going to go out to my lot first, then we're going to go to LMRs, and then where are we going to go? We're gonna get off the air. We're gonna recycle, reduce before we do the next set of birds. We're gonna do the next set tonight. That was just Pepsi. Uh -uh. Again, I don't want those people coming for me. Okay. Let's go, kids. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what? Wait a minute, no fighting. Fight, no, no. Okay, let's bet on the cat, shall we? Cat fighting is our new thing. Mine are in the dark as we speak. Ryan, the 360, you're going in your loft. Yeah. Troy. 306. 306, Troy, going in my loft. I know. I know, Troy and Ricky, they were writing numbers down. I never seen such nonsense written down. I almost lost my mind. Then I realized, hey, it's Troy and Ricky. 
I love them both. Here we go. Kids are out in the angry. Ricky's kidlets are out and about. We had a rake and eat one of our wild pigeons last night. We got bad raking trouble, so Ricky's gonna remove the rakings. Again, here we go into the loft. I gotta open that door. Yeah. Fucking door. Oh, that hurt. It's in the bone. For you guys that want to look at. We're not going to Buffalo till Wednesday, Jay-Z. There are the new kids. All the little new kids are sleeping like good little shit twists. And shit twists aren't a bad word. Reconnect in here. First time to reconnect. Here are the other kids. Good, they ate up all their dinner like good kidlets. I like to see. They enjoyed their Avery. Oops. See, Troy, I use all the band color system. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this basket and we're going to go... Uh, Never again will I build a hot loft like this. Here we go. Here we go. I better shut that door. Because if I know any of these little, little new ones, especially the ones from Troy, they got what we call grease and lightning. They're going to be flowing. Sorry, Troy, we love you. I gotta be safe, not sorry. All right. Oh, that one there. Oh, come on. There you go. Look at that one, having a good drink. Two. Three. Oh, I'm gonna put firecracker Troy in there at the end. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Here you go, Trace. Trace again. Ricky Fife. Oh, they're starting to twizzle my nizzle. Well, that's Ricky's. Almost brought Ricky's in. You hear the flapping going on. They're excited. And this one here. The last but not least. My knees aren't good at this shit anymore. There you guys have it. Family show tonight, you see more of the kids on. I gotta slide that window over a bit more. That's okay, it's a little bit bright in here. It's like rain on your wedding day. Let's see how this is gonna work. No goal to get to eat some reindeer corn now. Again, we left the feed, the water with them, and there's more than enough light, ladies and gentlemen. So don't panic. 
Hold on. Let's open this door up for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to get the next group of kids. Ones that are going in LMR's loft. George, what's going on, George? See, Ricky's are all out in the Avery there, playing around. Ricky mowed the grass quite well. Nice day here, not too warm, not too cold, it's perfect. Still good whiskey drinking weather. You can still drive in a Long Island iced tea, but a beer is not gonna be as good today. Let me just tell you that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, we got we got fighting going on, I love it. All right, let's grab these last few in. If you guys have questions, now is your time. One, two, three, four. Our grizzles. And the old boy, Grant. One more to go. They're going to go into Ricky's loft. As I say, grocery shopping is not my fave. So Ricky did the groceries. And I'm watching after the little ones here. They've all had their yellow drops. They have all had their vaccines now. Yes, you see youngsters out on the top of Ricky's. That's Ricky's youngsters there. It's our own little fun group we're playing with. And that's how... Breaking works, you see? What a what a nice day when that sun comes out. Let's do it. Let's get in here. Get these done. Uh, it's there a reason you use turkey pellets. Yes. We like the turkey pellets. A little bit of pellets never hurt. You're going to ask me why? Oh, they're a medicated pellet. They work good. I don't race on them. I'd never race on them. I would never race on them. Their feet were wet today. So the table looks a little wet. But here we go. Yeah, see, the feet are here. It's wet here, but that's okay. There you go. Bird by bird we go. The nice thing about a turkey pellet is some guys, lots of guys will feed turkey pellets straight. And when they come to a race like this, if you feed no turkey pellets, the pigeons don't eat, they starve. So what we do is we put about 10 or 15% turkey pellets in there. There, Grant, there you go. And uh, Everyone gets a little taste of it. And then as we get into race mode, I don't use pellets for nothing, no. Pellets aren't my thing for racing. There we go. Had a little drink there. A little twizzle, which is good to see. And again, bird by bird we go. He will feed. Uh, but yeah, that's why we use it. Family show. When are you going to Buffalo? Monday. The new. Sorry about that. We're still trying to see here how this is working. We're going to hit him with some all in one. But anyway, 
Hey guys, on that note, I'm Ryan Pioneer. We're going to get into some more checking birds a little later on. We'll do the evening show where we come in and listen. We listen to see who's sneezing and who's not. If we have any sneezers or if we don't, listening for the respiratory. Ryan Pioneer, Ricky Pioneer, Leah Pioneer. You guys, you're all part of the Pioneer because you're on. Thanks for flying with us. And uh, we'll see you tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, Northern Pacific time. Thanks for flying with me, guys. Bye for now.